Imagine a world where you never have to pay for gasoline again. A world where the very concept of a gas station becomes a relic of history. This isn't a distant dream from a science fiction novel. It's a claim coming from an inventor in Harare, Zimbabwe. His name Local is inventor, Maxwell Chikambutso, and he says he has built something impossible. He calls it the green energy power energy generator. Car. A battery he says produces more energy than it consumes. A device he claims can power a house, a factory, even a car, forever. If true, it doesn't just challenge the electric vehicle industry. It threatens to obliterate the entire foundation of fossil fuels. Our story begins not in a glossy Silicon Valley lab, but in a workshop in Southern Africa. Maxwell Chikambutso is a self-taught engineer. He has no formal university degree in physics or electrical engineering. He describes himself as a man guided by divine inspiration. From a young age, he was taking apart radios and televisions. He was fascinated by the flow of energy, the magic of electricity. His first major invention, he says, was a hybrid vehicle. Good evening. Tonight, Not a local hybrid inventor like you're is thinking. facing a lawsuit this over one, his he claims, ran on a combination of gasoline claims. and radio frequency waves. It was a startling claim that first put his name on the map. But it was just the beginning. The central invention, the one causing all the controversy, is the green energy generator. Visually, it's a large, unassuming box. It's filled with capacitors, circuits, and what he calls proprietary components. The principle he invokes is terrifying to conventional physicists. He says it taps into the quantum vacuum, the sea of energy that exists in empty space. Scientists call this zero-point energy. Theorized, yes, but universally considered impossible to harness for practical, net positive power. The laws of thermodynamics, the bedrock of modern physics, say you cannot get more energy out than you put in. You cannot create a perpetual motion machine. Chikambutso doesn't just challenge this law. He claims to have broken it. He demonstrates units that appear to power light bulbs indefinitely. He shows a television running for days with no external power source. The most audacious demonstration? A converted SUV, stripped of its engine and gas tank. Under the hood sits one of his green boxes. He claims this box powers the car. Not for 300 miles. Not for 3,000 miles. But forever. No charging. No fuel. Just endless, clean energy from the void of space itself. The implications are so vast they are difficult to comprehend. Think about the entire global economy. It is built on the extraction, refinement, and sale of energy. Natural gas. Trillion dollar industries. Entire nations derive their power and wealth from them. This invention, if real, would be the greatest disruption in human history. It would mean energy abundance for everyone. Remote villages in Africa could have limitless power. Factories could operate without worrying about fuel costs. The environmental impact would be profound. No more tailpipe emissions. No more drilling. A giant leap toward healing our planet. It sounds like a utopian fantasy. And that is precisely why the world has met Chikambutso with overwhelming skepticism. The scientific establishment has dismissed him outright. Physicists point to the conservation of energy. They say his device is, by definition, impossible. They suggest trickery. Hidden batteries. A cleverly concealed power source. They demand peer-reviewed papers. They insist on independent testing under controlled laboratory conditions. Chikambutso's response is one of defiance. He says he has been blocked at every turn. He claims powerful interests do not want his technology to see the light of day. He tells a story of being invited to demonstrate his generator in the United States. Upon arrival, he says his equipment was seized. He alleges he was threatened and silenced. His narrative is one of a lone genius against a corrupt system. A system protecting the oil industry. A system terrified of change. This persecution narrative resonates deeply with many. Especially across Africa. Here is an African innovator, they say, achieving a world-first breakthrough. And instead of celebration, he faces rejection and accusations from the West. It touches a raw nerve of historical exploitation. The feeling that African brilliance is always questioned, always subdued. His supporters are fervent. 
they see a visionary being suppressed. They post videos of his demonstrations online. They argue that established science is sometimes overthrown by radical discovery. They cite figures like Nikola Tesla, who spoke of drawing power from the atmosphere. They claim Chikambutso is a modern-day Tesla. Misunderstood. And deliberately marginalized. But the questions remain, and they are serious. Where are the rigorous, independent tests? Why hasn't a single credible scientific institution validated the technology? If it works, why isn't it powering a single hospital ward or school in Zimbabwe right now? Skeptics have dissected his public demonstrations. They note the generator is never run in a completely isolated, transparent environment. The wires could be going somewhere. A battery could be inside the casing. The car demonstration is particularly contentious. Could the box simply be a buffer for a hidden, conventional battery pack? Without open inspection, doubt will always flourish. The controversy took a strange turn when Chikambutso attracted attention from an unexpected place. American investors. A company called Seth Holdings Incorporated was formed around his technology. They made grand presentations. They promised to revolutionize the world. They even claimed partnerships with the U.S. Department of Defense, which were never verified. This move into the complex world of international finance raised more red flags. Was this a genuine attempt to commercialize a miracle? Or was it something else entirely? The line between a misunderstood genius and a very sophisticated promoter became blurrier. Yet, through it all, the core idea persists. What if he's right? What if, just maybe, this self-taught inventor from Zimbabwe has seen something that billion-dollar labs have missed? History is littered with examples of outsiders challenging orthodoxy. The Wright brothers were bicycle mechanics. They were told flying machines were impossible. Today, we cross oceans in hours. Could this be another such moment? A moment where a paradigm shatters? Let's consider the battery itself, as described. A device that requires an initial input of energy to start. But once activated, it enters a state of resonance with the quantum field. It draws infinitesimal amounts of energy from the vibrations of space-time itself. It amplifies that energy to a usable level. And it does so without decaying, without fuel. It's not creating energy, he would argue. It's simply converting what is already everywhere. An endless, cosmic reservoir. For the consumer, the experience would be simple. You buy a unit for your car. You install it. And you drive. You drive across the country. You park for months. You start it again, and the power is still there, undiminished. The automotive industry would be turned upside down overnight. Electric vehicles with massive, heavy battery packs become obsolete. Charging networks become irrelevant. The entire conversation about range anxiety vanishes. The economic liberation for ordinary people would be staggering. The average family spends thousands a year on gasoline and electricity. That cost could drop to nearly zero. That's money back in pockets. Money for food, education, and healthcare. On a geopolitical level, the shift would be seismic. Petrostates would lose their leverage overnight. Wars fought over oil resources would become pointless. The global balance of power would radically reset. It's a vision of a peaceful, abundant future. A future freed from the shackles of energy scarcity. This is the powerful dream that Maxwell Chikambutso sells. It's a dream that transcends science and enters the realm of hope and belief. Perhaps that is the true core of this story. In a world of climate change, energy poverty, and inequality, people are desperate for a hero. They are desperate for a simple, elegant solution to our most complex problems. Chikambutso, whether a genuine inventor or not, has become a symbol of that desperation. He represents the audacious hope that one person can change everything. That the next world-changing idea can come from anywhere. Even from a small workshop in Hura. As of now, the mystery remains unsolved. The claims are unresolved. The scientific community stands firm in its dismissal. His supporters stand firm in their belief. The truth is trapped somewhere in the middle. It is wrapped in layers of demonstration videos, allegations, geopolitical intrigue, and fundamental physics. 
until Maxwell Chikumbutso Green Energy Generator is subjected to transparent, unfettered, and conclusive testing by the international scientific community, it will remain exactly what it is today. A captivating